Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina man yahdihi allahu falamudillala wa man فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اليد العليا خير من اليد السفلى وابدأ بمن تعول وخير الصدقة ما كان عن ظهر غنى ومن يستعفف يعفه الله وَمَن يَسْتَغْنِ يُغْنِ إِلَّا أَوْ كَمَا قَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ أَمَّا بَعْدُ Respected elders, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, today is 27th. Of Muharram al Haram. Year is 1444 Hijri. And after two days, we will be sighting the moon for the month of Safar, inshallah. And all those Friday during the month of Safar. We will be talking about some ahadiths of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and then we will have Rabi'ul Awwal. In Rabi'ul Awwal we will be talking about Prophet Muhammad وسلم's life. And Rabiul Sani, Jamadiul Awwal, Jamadiul Sani. We have got these three months, we will be talking again about different topics and different ahadiths, which gives us different lessons. We have got three months, inshallah, to talk about them. I have just read one hadith in front of you. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Al Yadul Ulya Khairum min Al Yadis Sufna. The upper hand is better than the lower hand. What does it mean, upper hand better than lower hand? See, when we give something, 
the giver's hand is up and the one who takes his hand is low. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, saying that giving hand is better than the receiving hand. But some, there is a category of people who always play with Hadith and Quran. Some ignorant feel who want to take Hadith from people, they, they say that, okay, just put on the palm of your hand and I will pick it up from top. So my hand will stay up. You can't play with Sharia. Upper and down, that is that doesn't matter. The message is that the giving hand is better than the receiving hand. Means don't ask. If you have to ask, only ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one else. And what is the purpose? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is giving message. Hatta al-imkan, to the best possibility, don't ask anyone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respects your ego, does not want you to ask anyone. What if he said no? What's going to happen? You might say, okay, no, I will go to somebody else. No. The masala is, if you are traveling in a group and the time of salat comes and no one has got water, only one person has got water and you want to make wudu, masala is don't ask him. It is better to do tayammum and pray. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respects our ego, our pride. Don't ask anyone. If we ask people, there is only one condition that we can beg. The mas'ala is that if someone has got one day and one night grocery at home, enough for one day and one night, he cannot beg. And those who still beg, Prophet Muhammad said that, those will be presented in akhirat with these scratches and wounds on their face. Those who are not in the position that they should beg and they are still begging. But there is another hadith that don't give it to those who are they don't come on the merit of begging and they are still begging. If asking is haram for them, so giving them is also haram. This is hadith. Mufti Muhammad Shafi Sahab Rahmatullah Alayhi. He was traveling in a car. His son now big Mujaddid Mufti Muhammad Taqi Damat Barakatuh He was sitting next to him 
the car stopped at one signal and the beggar came to the car so he just took out something from his pocket and gave it to him his son mufti taqi usmani says that i was very freshly i read the hadith that don't give it to those who are not come on merit or who are not destitute and who are not mustahid don't give it to them so he said he said to his father we read hazrat shami he quoted one hadith that if someone is not eligible to beg he is not supposed to be given any charity he is not mustahid subhanallah mufti shafi rahmatullah alayh he answered his sentence only he can do it only he can say it not us he said that what are you talking about mustahid or merit demerit what are you talking about deserving or not deserving if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have made a scale that he will give those who deserve would we be in the list not only that we will be in the list probably we would be in the list of those whose doors will be closed no food for them talking about istihqa talking about mustahid destitute or if someone comes if you know but surety if you know that he is not mustahid he he has got one day and one night grocery at home if you are sure <coughs> then you might not give him but tell me if 10 people come and ask maybe nine might be fake but there would be one genuine who is needs your help what will happen we will still tell him go away that one person who was real and we just told him off that will add to our sins allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said one hadith is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that you i came to eat to your place and you did not give me any food so the servant will say ya allah you are free from all these things hunger and all this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say that one one of my servant came to your door he was hungry and you did not give him anything as if you did not give me anything so give when they come to ask give doesn't matter what you can give does not matter whether you make any scale for it no everyone who comes and ask give why because as soon as you think of giving something shaitan comes shaitan says oh look at his dress look at the way he looks is he really deserving that shaitan you are not the judge for it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the law for those who give and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the law for those who beg what are the conditions that they can beg there are laws for it what are the conditions that you should give 
there are laws for it. One person comes to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he says, Ya Rasulullah, I haven't got anything. Please give me something. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Do you have anything? He said, Only this blanket I have. He says, okay, let's go. And he takes him to the market and he sells that blanket. Auction. Whatever money he gets, he buys one X. And he, with his own hands, he puts one handle in it. And then he says that now you should not ask people this is the X I have given you. Now you should cut the wood and may start your earnings. That means if someone comes to you and you have doubt or any question, then make proper arrangements as Prophet Muhammad did. Not that if he comes and he's like, get lost because you don't deserve it. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like it at all. When someone gives, ask for help, give. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes the generous people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like bakhil, the misers. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me millions, that means my responsibility also is big. It is not that I am the one who got this million because of my, some my qualities. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you custodian for this million. That means there are some responsibilities. Those who come, they are destitute, they will come. They will ask for help. If you go in the history, Subhanallah, <laughs> Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, no food. What shall we do? Hazrat Ali went to one Yahudi, Shamhun, and he brought some wool and when he did so there was some to be done you know in the wool so he gives some money so he got instead he got some barley given by Shamroon so he made this two rotis out of that barley and he was fasting Hadrat Fatima was also fasting. As soon as they sit on iftar, someone knocks at the door, I am miskeen. Give me in the name of Allah those two rotis given to him. And they broke the fast with water. Next day again they fasted. Went to Shamoon, again brought this, again some barley. And now about to far break the fast, someone comes and he says that I am from prisoner from Badr. And both of them, they give both rotis to them, to him. And again with the word, Subhanallah. Can you imagine the test? No food at home, fasting, and whatever work they do, and whatever barley they get, and they are making two rotis out of it and giving in the path of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Subhanallah. Then. 
Third one. There is one Yaseem comes. So what happens then? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes. And he says, what have you done? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so happy with you that one quran Kareem ayat has been revealed. Subhanallah. فَرْمَائَكَ يُوفُونَ بِالنَّذْرِ وَيَخَافُونَ يَوْمًا كَانَ شَرُّهُ مُسْتَطِيرًا وَيُطْعِمُونَ التَّعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا You have given all three of them your roti. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so happy with you. That was sahabat, that was generosity they had. And not only that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is coming and saying, Oh my daughter, you are so hungry. No, he's saying Allah is happy with you. Quran Kareem is giving Shahada that he is happy with you. Surah Al Dahar, these ayat were revealed. And then this was one. If you give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you look after the those who are destitute, those who are in needs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies your income, multiplies your wealth. Some people when they are using their aql and they want reasonings again. They think, how can you give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it can increase? When we see that if we pay, it decreases our capital. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases, you can't even imagine. Hazrat Hassan, Hazrat Hussain, and Abdullah bin Jafar. They are going from Mecca to Medina. On the way, they were so hungry. They saw one old lady and they said to, Oh, mother, can we have something to eat? Do you have anything? Oh, she said, yes, sit down. And she had one goat. She slaughtered that goat and cooked the meat and gave it to them. They ate. When her husband came, she said, this is what I did and now they have gone. So He said, oh, that was the only goat we had. There is nothing we have apart from that goat. She said, but they were hungry. <clears throat> he said, okay, Allah will look after us. After a while, they happened to go to... When those people were leaving, they said, whenever you come to Medina, please come to us. See us. So they went for not to see them. They are circumstances were such that they could not very hard to live so just to look for some job or some work they went to Medina Hazrat Hassan saw him saw both of them he said Amma do you recognize me she says yes you are the one who came and you had food he says yes please come and he gives hundred goats and one hundred thousand dirham. That's what he gives them. And he takes them to Adrat Hussain. He gives the same hundred goats and hundred thousand dirham. And they both take him to 
حضرت عبداللہ بن جعفر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ He says, Wallahi, if you had come to me, I would have given you a lot more. But those, these two, I love. I cannot more, I cannot give you more than what these two gave you. So he gave 200 goats and 200,000 dirham. Subhanallah. Can you imagine? What did she do? One goat. Generous and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increased and brought the revolution in their life. This is these are the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. If we become generous, if we become sakhi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love us. If we become miser, if we sit on our wealth, if we think that our wealth is going to benefit us. It will not. One day this wealth and everything will be here and we will be gone. And we will be history. People talk about, remember that people, oh my grandfather used to do this, oh my such and such used to. We will be talked about like this. No wealth, no cars, no properties, nothing. Just in the cover, that's it. That will be the end. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What we should do? We should keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy throughout. What I was, we will be talking about, inshallah. I just talked about that yad al is better than yad sufla Means upper hand is better than the lower hand. What it gives a lesson to give. Now whom to give? And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects us and what he gives us in return, we will be talking about that, inshallah, next Friday. May Allah give us tawfeeq wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.